Yo guys, what's going on? Today, I got an awesome video for you. If you're looking for a free screen recorder that is super easy and simple to use and does not require an insanely powerful computer to do it, then you guys are in luck. Today, I wanna show you guys Ace Thinker, a free online screen recorder that does exactly what I just described. I would also like to give a special thanks to Ace Thinker for sponsoring today's video. And with that all said, let's get right into the video. All right, I'm gonna quickly describe exactly what Ace Thinker is and does, and then we're gonna get right into exactly how it works. As I described in the intro, Ace Thinker is a free online screen recorder for anyone to use. All you guys have to do is basically download and run a driver on your computer so that your computer knows what to do once you click start recording, and you're all set to go. Ace Thinker pretty much has all the key features of any premium screen recorder, which is super nice. You can record any activities on your computer, any games, web browsers, any application, pretty much anything you can think of, it'll work for. The Ace Thinker screen recorder is also compatible with all web browsers. I'm currently using a Google Chrome web browser, but if you guys were to try this with another major browser like Safari on Apple, for example, it should 100% of the time work. While recording, you can also capture audio not only on your computer, but from a mic as well, which is pretty nice. And what's really cool about Ace Thinker is it also has built-in annotations while recording, so you can draw and annotate your screen as you're recording a video. On top of this too, you can also save the video recordings that you just created in multiple different output formats. You're are not forced to only use one you can save the same video to multiple different output formats which is really really cool all right so getting into exactly how this program is going to work i'll have a link to this page down in the description below for those of you guys who want to try it out but basically all you guys got to do is come over here and just click free download and what this is going to do is it's going to download and run an installer on your computer for a driver software the driver basically just tells your computer what to do and how to communicate with ace thinker once you do click start recording in your browser and once that's all downloaded and installed you're all set to go to get started recording all you literally have to do is click start recording you guys will see it might ask you to verify opening ace thinker free online tools go ahead and click open and it's going to go ahead and open up this ui right here now quickly explaining what all this does this orange border box around here that you guys can see this is pretty much a border that selects exactly what you want to record so if you don't want to record your full screen and you only want to record a chunk of it then you can basically use this to select a specific part of your screen that it will record it'll only record inside those orange box dimensions so you guys can see there in the recording area it even says the exact dimensions that you would be recording in if i was to start recording right now if you don't want to record a specific spot and you want to record your entire screen you can simply just come over here to this little drop down and click full screen and as you you guys can see the orange box moves to pretty much your entire screen and you can see the dimensions of whatever your default is my main monitor here that i'm recording on does run 1440p so that would be a 1440p recording for me you guys can see here you also have access to a camera speakers and a microphone as i said as well all that stuff is pretty straightforward and once you have all of it configured you simply just click start recording keep in mind too if you guys do want to modify some more advanced settings you can click the settings gear wheel over here and you'll get all of these options to basically alter exactly what the recording is going to do. You do have a couple of basic settings under recordings where you can modify whether it shows a countdown before recording or not, beeps, stuff like that. You also have controls for hotkeys. If you guys do want to set hotkeys, you can do that as well. And then, of course, you have the output format. You guys can see the two different video outputs they offer here. The video quality, of course, which I always recommend putting at high. You also have the video codec, of course, and then also the frame rate. It looks like the max is 24 FPS, which is not bad, though. Of course, if you do modify any of this, just go ahead and click OK okay to save it all and you're all set to go once you're ready to start recording you simply just hit record it's gonna do a little countdown and as soon as that countdown ends you're now currently recording you're recording your entire screen and you guys can even see here that there is this little ui bar that i can drag around this ui bar does not get recorded with the software so basically this is invisible you can put it wherever you want even if it's right here in the middle of the screen and the recording software will not see it this anyways is basically your controls for your recording it'll tell you exactly how much memory you're taking as the recording continues and it even tells you what the max is for the current drive you're saving to you guys can see i have actually 215 gigabytes of storage before i complete run out so I can keep recording up until that point of course you also do have the simple pause tool if you want to pause the recording and then if you want to stop it this is how you would stop it right here once you're finished with your recording though you go ahead and click stop and it's gonna go ahead and save it and once you click stop it's basically gonna go right back to that same UI we were looking at before right before we started the recording except this time you're gonna have all of your saved recordings down below how long they are and the size anyway guys that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video hopefully this free screen recorder is gonna help a lot of you guys out and give you guys the ability to finally record your screens and to save clips or just do whatever you want with it again another huge thanks goes to ace thinker for sponsoring today's video and uh yeah 
with all that said again thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you guys did enjoy definitely make sure you guys leave a like and smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys all in the next video peace